Hello there, this is Steven School, and I'm going to be doing some unboxing alchemy glass. Check out my coffee cup, it's got my dog Bell on there. Just having some coffee, and I'm going to open some boxes that I received from Amazon.com. Alchemy, this is glassworks for my alchemy. Some of these are from Avogadro's Lab Supply, but they're all from ordered from Amazon.com. This is going to be for upcoming alchemy experiments that I want to do on YouTube. A box within a box. At least they packaged it well. Doesn't appear to be broken. This is something I've been wanting for a minute. It's a big beaker. It's very well packaged. I'm going to finish opening it up here. This is a 2000 ml borosilicate glass beaker. Perfect. I know some of uh, my watchers have been asking me to do more videos with nitric acid, and that's what the speaker's for. as well as the rest of this stuff. I want to try some variations on the processes of dissolution. So this is a glass cutter. A scientific type gas, glass cutter for cutting glass tubing. And this is an aquarium pump an aerator pump, to pump air. All right. Cool. This is a nice little pump. It was uh, not very expensive. It seems like good quality for the price. And now we have another box here. I'm going to have to get into uh, bending glass tubing. But I do have some instructions on that from a book called, uh, what was it, I think it was called the Golden, the Golden Book of Chemistry Experiments. It shows how to uh, heat up glass tubing and bend it. I think that's going to be important for, for this apparatus that I'm putting together. And we got styrofoam peanuts here. This box was ordered from Amazon.com uh, from Avogadro's Laboratory Supply.
need some coffee. Now this is supposed to be glass tubing, glass tubes in here. I guess the best way to cut it, to open it is with this knife. Seems to be packaged well. Now these were advertised as five millimeter glass tubes. And I researched a little bit about this aerator pump and determined that these tubes should fit the tubing that came with the aerator pump. I have some uh, water distilling there on my hot plate in my Alchemist Olympic. Okay, here comes the glass tubes. So they're taped together. One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them in here. I thought I was supposed to get more than that. I'm going to have to recheck my listing. These are 24 inches long and they are advertised as 5 millimeter glass tubing. So this plastic tube from the aquarium aerator I should be able to fit on the end of one of these. So this looks like it's going to fit. Just a little bit of stretching, I can get that on there. And then with this glass cutter, I should be able to score this and snap it off and cut it to length. And then I may do some heating and bending kind of like a straw because this is designed to go in, in the beaker like so and connect the uh, air aquarium aerator pump to it with the tubing so that it will uh, when I have liquid in here uh, in dissolution dissolving material if I place some minerals or rocks in here uh, with uh, some type of acid or menstruum to dissolve them this will um, oxygenate it and help with the circulation and just pump air in there, air bubbles. So that's how that works. In the Golden Book of Chemistry Experiments, it shows holding the tubing a little bit above a flame, not directly in the flame, but slightly above it and then bending it. I'm going to try that at a later date and make a video with it and see how it goes. But as it is, this glass rod is too weaker, or this glass straw is too, uh, glass tube is too tall, so I'm thinking about cutting it off and maybe putting a little, a little bend in it like a straw, maybe a little hook, and then connecting this tubing to it. So that's that, and uh, 
Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe for updates. I'll include some links in the description below the video to some of these items.